Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So um, first of all, let me just say uh, a horrible echo in the room. I was trying to use a little mic to see if this would make it sound better. So please forgive me for sound quality, but we're gonna roll with it. How are y'all doing? So yeah, a lot has gone on and um, I want to, wanted to get back on here, um, create some content so you guys could, you know, kind of see what's been going on with me here as of lately. As most of you know, I competed in a show, um, I guess it was last week, and I placed fourth. So um, I will just be totally transparent when it comes to um, my entire, um, you know, just, I, it, I guess you could call it fitness journey, but for me, it's more of um, my goal of, you know, becoming a bodybuilder. So um, in, in doing the show, I did run into a lot of um, challenges and um, I think a lot of those for me, and this is not to say or categorize women over the age of 50 or anything, just me and my body. Um, the way that uh, my body responded on this prep was not ideal. Um, I was hoping and I was working really, really hard trying to get it to where um, I would be absolutely pleased. And unfortunately, um, it did not work out that way. I had an excellent coach. Um, we did everything we possibly could. We pushed the limits and, um, but it was hard for my body to really respond. Um, I can say probably some of that being stress and you guys know my stressors here at home, um, having special needs kids, um, you know, and just dealing with, you know, things in general that I'm sure most people deal with on a regular. Um, but for me, my body responds to stress. And so that's water retention or either it will just stop responding. So we were having to do things and cut things, um, you know, to try to get my body to kind of start, you know, just to kind of, um, you know, jumpstart it. And once it seemed to, you know, kind of jumpstart, it was practically time for the show. So I just, you know, kind of want to put that out there. But I wanted to um, come on and um, kind of give you guys a little bit of a journey, you know, me going through the whole process. Um, I have a few video clips of me, a few pictures, some posing, um, some check-ins. So I will include those things either here or either I will insert those so you guys can see. And um, then, you know, just talk a little bit about, you know, some of the decisions that I made for this particular show. getting sick doing an hour of cardio a day and Tommy said I could split it into 30 minute sessions um, but you know I'm just gonna do it I, that's how you know when he put me on the hour I just said okay just do the hour and then come home and eat because I know afterwards I am going to be starving so and all I 
like it are eggs and <laughs> spinach. But those are going to be the best eggs and spinach. morning I'm at the gym and I'm sitting in my car because I'm so tired <laughs> but um, I'm about to go in and get in um, my cardio and um, abs so that's what I'm about to do right now so this morning I got up and um, did some posing. Maybe I'll stick it here or here. Let you guys see um, what I was doing this morning. And I um, I yeah, I guess I'm okay with where I am. Um, I'm the hardest person on myself. I know I am. So I just have to um, just try to, you know, keep pushing, think positive thoughts, get excited, you know, all of that stuff. But I am really tired today and um, just trying to push on through. And I'm about to go in here and get this workout and I'll catch you guys in a bit. That was so hard. Normally I could go in here and knock this hour out, do my 30 to 45 minutes on the stepper, finish up on the arc machine, you know, pouring sweat, and then do abs. That wasn't happening today. I am so exhausted. For a minute I thought I was gonna pass out. So, I just did my cardio, and I walked my behind up out of there. Oh. Hey guys, this is my peak week. <laughs> and I haven't done a very good job of keeping you guys updated on what's going on, but um, I've just been so tired. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> Which, I mean, you know, that's that's a given when you're in your last week, last, you know, four or five weeks, you're just exhausted because you're pushing so hard. And But uh, Tommy increased yesterday to one and a half hours of cardio and one and a half gallons of water. So we are on a, a mini water load and, um, you know, extended cardio. So, but anyhow, just trying to get my body to adjust and just try to, you know, just trying to reach the goal. That's it. Just head down and work. That's been my motto all this entire prep is head down and work. You beat yourself up enough during this time. You know, it's always the, I'm not ready. I don't know if I'm, you know, if I should do this. Maybe I should pull out, you know. Once I committed, I said I was going to work hard and get it done and bring the best package that I possibly can for this prep. And that's what you do. You know, you can't compare yourself to anyone. You can't compare yourself to anyone's standards or what they feel you should look like. You know, you, along with your coach, you know, you guys create the best package that you can. And that's what I'm doing. I don't compare myself to anyone. Um, 
and nor should you. I mean, no one in this sport should compare themselves to anyone. No one should say anything about a competitor and their development. I think each person knows what they need to work on. But when you're in this situation, you, you do the best that you can and you present yourself in every aspect, you know, your body, your, um, your appearance on stage, your suit, your hair, your makeup, your posing, 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 all of those things play such a major role in the total package. So you bring a total package and wherever your strength is, focus on your strength, but work hard in every area. And that's what I'm doing. So, um, what is it now? Today is Monday. So we are T minus six days. Yep. And my birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> talk a little bit about you know some of the decisions that I made for this particular show okay so first and foremost I think the most noticeable one that would definitely have to be my hair um, each show that I've done before in the past I've always worn my natural hair um, I was just like oh you know I really want to you know do my natural hair I don't want to have to wear a wig and cover it up and you know yada yada but you quickly learn that when doing these shows you are so tired so depleted um, the last thing you want to deal with is hair so prior to me even starting this prep um, RPG show um, we talked and I was like, I really want to do something. Um, I want to wear a wig for my next show, but I really don't know what I want to do. So um, I was going back and forth as to what I wanted to try. And so I've never tried a long piece before. So I thought it would go with something long. I thought it'd be kind of cool. And plus it's gray. And I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. So this what I have on my head is what I wore show day and actually I thought it turned out beautifully um, um, I'll also include some clips here of what the wig looked like when I received it and um, I did do some cutting because there was a particular way I wanted the wig to look on show day and um, I did some thinning out because it is a pretty dense wig um, so um, I did quite a bit to it to get it, you know, kind of customized to the way that I wanted it to look. Um, so I will put that clip here so you guys can see. And, but for me, I just wanted to give it a try and see what it would look like on me. And actually I thought it was nice. I actually liked it a lot. Um, so I got lots of compliments on it, which um, I was very, very glad to, you know, to see that. But this particular piece, um, I will leave information, obviously in the description box to let you guys know what it is. I will leave the name of this particular wig here on the screen. Um, if you guys are interested in checking it out um, on RPG Show's website, and, um, but yeah, I have it. So it, it does have lace or it is a lace front. And um, I decided to maybe go with that 
Um, the glue that I use has not harmed my hair at all, you know, but to be totally honest, I've only used it, this is the second time I've used the glue and I've only done a really light layer because it doesn't really need much. Um, and it hasn't harmed any of my um, edges, which is very nice, which is always a, an issue for me because I don't know if, it, you know, it's going to mess it up. But um, so that's that. So we're going to take this off so you guys can see um, in real time what she looks like. And, you know, I did show you guys some pictures and so forth, but we're going to actually take this off. Um, I've got my curling iron here or my flat iron. I'm like, you know, kind of wing this back a little bit um, just so you guys can kind of see what a girl looks like. So this is still old curls from last week. So was it last weekend? Yeah, it was last weekend. I think it was. Or maybe it was weekend before last. It's been two weeks already. Golly, it's been two weeks. All right. Okay, so. This is the little melting band that came in the box. So there she is. I mean, you know, I obviously I don't do a very good job of lacing it down or whatever. I'm not doing that baby hair stuff because I'm far from a baby. So here she is. And I was trying to set this mic so it wouldn't brush up against it. So um, I will maybe move it. I don't know where to put it though. Okay, so this is what she looks like, you know. And for show day, I did leave, um, I didn't really brush the curls out. I just kind of left them in there. But, you know, honestly, I probably wouldn't do much more than this because I don't really like it all curled and stuff. I kind of like it to just lay, you know, somewhat flat to have some volume here in the top. But yeah, so I did a um, sort of like a cut on the diagonal to get these wings here. And once again, I'm no hairstylist, but you know, I don't think they came out too, too bad. Um, I do think that one side is more, um, like this one here, it tends to, so this one might be a little bit longer than this side, or it could just be the way that I curled it. But this is just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. And I do have, obviously I've got my hair, um, it's braided down. It's been braided down for I think three weeks, four weeks, something like that, comb roll back. And um, so I've got a little bit of a bump there. So pay that no mind, but I will turn so you guys can see what it looks like in the back. From the side and the front. So, yeah, there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out of my Team Awesome shirt, my Angry Birds, <laughs> and I'm going to just put on a cute little top and some earrings and some lipstick and touch up my makeup a little bit and kind of give you guys a final look. Okay, and we're back. 
So I had this cute little top that um, that I got, oh gosh, so many years ago. But anyhow, I thought it was really cute. Run a little lipstick and these adorable little earrings that I got from Amazon. I love these things. They are so pretty. And okay, so for me, I like having some of my natural hair showing from these wigs. Um, it To me, it just really gives it a more realistic look. Now I know the texture of this wig compared to my natural hair, but my whole logic behind it is this is where it usually naps up first is around the edges. So I'm just kind of going with the natural flow of it if I had a relaxer. But anyhow, um, I try to take just these little edges here and I will like, you know, straighten those out so that they will be, you know, a little bit straighter. So if I did decide to go like this, you know, behind the ear, it, it would look a little more natural. So, you know, I've got my little sideburns, if you want to call that, there. So it gives to me a little bit more of a realistic look. And I like that. But for the sake of the video, I will pull that out and just bring everything here so y'all can see the, the fullness of this thing. And it's so funny because when I cut this wig and I mean, I thinned it just to get it to lay a little flatter in the back. I wanted it to be not so um, dense in the back. I wanted, so when I turn, it laid flat, it laid a little bit more natural, more natural like natural hair would lie. Um, it still is a little bit dense for me, but, um, but it's okay, you know. Um, it's not like it's a piece that I will wear every day. And honestly, the only time that I've worn this one is for the show. Um, I have been a little bit hesitant to just kind of wear her out. But I mean, she's such a pretty piece. I, I love it. I think it's so nice. But, but to be honest, it's time for me to give my hair a nice, um, you know, washing and um, condition, deep condition, and um, take some care of her. But yeah, so I wanted to come on really quick, you know, share this update with you guys and um, let you know what was going on, show you some pics from the show, give you some updates on how things went for this particular prep. And um, yes, I am going to continue this journey. And, you know, that's the other thing that I really want to talk about is um, you guys responded uh, to my post about the show. Everybody was so supportive and I appreciate that so very much. Um, I am with you guys 100%. I, this journey is not easy. It's not an easy one. And if it's something that you are contemplating doing, thinking about doing, whether it's a, just to get in better shape, to make healthier choices, to For now, I am, uh, I guess, 50 weeks away from my next show. So I'm taking this one long and slow. And um, I'm really, really excited about the journey because this time I'm looking to gain even more insight about me. I'm learning um, to adopt a winner's mentality to, um, you know, not just show up, but win, to win. So um, that's going to be a very interesting journey and I am here for it. So anyhow, you guys be good and we will see you in the next one.